Hello everyone, this is Plank Time. I'm going to be talking about the Revelation 12 sign in on August 5th, 3914 BC. And I'm also going to mention the September 23rd one this year, and the one in July 28th, 3973. I have on the screen right now today's date, if you're watching today. Um, it's, uh, actually this is the 7th. I got that wrong. Let's go to the 17th. Alright, yeah, today's date. So we're at um, July 17th, 2017. And as you can see, it's getting close. We have, we're getting close to the September 23rd, 2017 sign. We got Mercury already in Leo. We got Mars on its way. The Sun on its way. Jupiter's still, Virgo's still pregnant with Jupiter. Um, okay, let's go to the September 23rd one. We'll show you that real fast. Okay, we're in September. And I'm in uh, Jerusalem. I got this at the Jerusalem, Israel. The Stellarium. And right here. There's, there we go. That's it. Right here, there's the sign. It's um, got the sun behind her. One of her feet, even though it's in Libra. She's giving birth. Twelve stars. Mercury, Mars, and Venus. Alright, so we're gonna go now. I'm gonna take you to. We'll go with the 3914 one first. So we gotta get in the BCs. Whoop. Alright. I don't know if I'll leave this in. I might edit and might like jump right to it. Alright, we're at uh, October 23rd. And I'll show you when I believe Jupiter, it kind of looks like it enters here possibly, but just because it's the 31st and it's so close, I'm going to go with October 31st, Halloween, which obviously they didn't have back then, I don't think. Um, 3915 BC. This is the one uh, a lot of people go by. And um, Jupiter, um, Virgo is pregnant with Jupiter for nine months, five days. If you go with the October 31st one, unless somebody else has another date, you can tell me down below in the comments. But, um, so, here we are, we got, we got Saturn, Saturn, Satan, entering Leo already, and here's the, here's the problem I have is Uranus. Um, <laughs> that sounded kind of funny, but it stays here, and as I show you in nine months, what happens, um, it's on the other side of the sun, which... Um, I'll show you. Here we go. We're gonna go. I don't know if this, I don't know. We'll see. But, um, here we go. Nine months. One, two, three, four. I gotta back up the time because as it goes, so it goes. Uh, which one was I on? October, November, December, January, February. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're gonna go to July 28th. So it's nine months, five days. Yep, there we are. Okay. We're on. Oh, we're at July 20th already. Okay. Cool. So. July. Oh, no, no, we gotta go to. Oh, that's the other one. We gotta go to August 5th. Okay, here we're gonna go to August 5th. So. We're gonna go August one, three, boom. There we go. Now here's the one. It's been nine months, five days. We're on August fifth. Oop. August fifth, three thousand nine hundred fourteen BC. We have the sun behind her, moon in her feet is in Libra again. Jupiter, she's giving birth. This one's right on the line, even though I feel the line could be here, like here to here, here to here. Um, we have Mercury, Venus, and Saturn. Um, instead of Mercury, Mars, and Venus. And then the one in 3973 is Venus, Mercury, Saturn. Saturn's in the same spot. As you'll see, Venus will be. But here's the problem I have with this. Uranus is right here on the right side of the sun. 
which kind of makes it 13 stars, wouldn't it? I mean, I know it's not in Leo, because right here is a line, technically. I'd feel much better if it was on the other side of the sun over here, like Mars is in uh, the next one, in 3,973. But you have it over here, it could be 13 stars, but, I mean, it does work, it is 9 months. That a lot of people like to show, like the one that shows it's just like the one this year on September 23rd. And I agree, it's uh, it definitely could be it. But the one 59 years um, before, because it would be in the BC as it goes, it'll be before. So we're gonna go and check that one out. All right, here's the one, it starts in. 3974 BC because it, it counts down because we're in the BCs. But here's Jupiter entering, and as you see, Saturn is in Leo already, and the sun's gonna go back around because it's a year later. But here's September 11th. Now, you can pick any date really between September 11th and September 23rd, which September 11th would be weird because you know you know about September 11th, obviously, so that would be a weird date. But um, I like September 23rd. Um, it's uh because it's it works so perfect because of the one this year it ends in september 23rd so how perfect would that be if it actually back then 5990 years ago it started on september 23rd and this year it ends in september 23rd that's kind of like a, a sign in itself but let's go so it could be any day between the 11th and the 23rd again i like to pick the 23rd there you go it's inside there and this is where i believe it starts and then you go nine months from here on July 28th, 3973 BC. It's been 10 months, five days. The one this year from conception to birth, if we go by November 20th, is 10 months, three days. And here you go, you got the sun. It's really close, it's just in there. But it's still in there in, in Virgo, boom, and she's given birth. And again, I know it's a little distance from here, but the one this year, it's like right there and right here. I feel she's like that because she's pregnant. I showed in the other video. I feel that she's pregnant there. And then you have the twelve stars. See, Uranus isn't over here, and Mars isn't over here. It's over on this side. So you have Venus, Mercury, and Saturn. The 12 stars I've ever had. And like I talked about in the other video, I really think this is significant. The Mars entering on the day Jupiter she gives birth. Here comes the Mars, the god of war planet. It's definitely you know, it's the war planet and it stays in. It stays in for a while. And then let me show you what else I found it does. It's like it, as you go through here. Um let's watch. Okay, a couple days. Boom. Mars is in there and it comes and look at it comes right by Jupiter. And it like touches Jupiter, boom. You know, it's like almost like Jupiter is like the good sun and Mars is the evil sun. And here he comes over there and he touches the good sun, Jupiter, and gives him all this war and evil. And what comes in the last 5,990 years? War and evil. And then look how bright this would be. Of course, the sun's there, so you're not going to see it, but that would be pretty bright, the two next to each other. That's why if I'm. If I'm correct on this, I think that's what they think the Bethlehem star was. Uh, two, two planets next to each other that made it so bright for the coming of Jesus. But yeah, if the sun wasn't here, look at the moon. They're all right there. Bam. And Mercury touches. And they're all touching each other. The sun. You know. So, that's the one. And the one I wanted to focus on, actually, was the 2000. 14 BC. I hadn't done. I didn't do that one. So I wanted to show you that one. I wanted to show you the other two. So thanks for listening, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks again. Plank time.